Okay, today I want to show you how to freeze frame your footage, flip your footage, and reverse your footage, and a little bit of slow motion involved in that as well, all using Wondershare Filmora 10. Okay, so we're in our software here, and what you want to do is get your footage all ready to go. As you see here, I have it already selected. I always do that and then put your footage in the timeline and we'll go along here and you see it's all upside down and unless you're that kid from Family Guy with the upside down face you're gonna have a hard time uh, editing upside down footage so what you want to do is double click and when you open it up it'll look like this so you click on this arrow on transform and you go to here and you flip it's literally that easy to to flip your footage up so if you're ever filming upside down um, then it's really easy to flip it. The reason why I was filming this upside down is because I didn't have my stabilizer with me to get nice and low. So what I did was use my tripod and flip it upside down so I'd get a little more stability while using it. It gives you more gives you more stability, more leeway to, to move the camera around to get a, a smoother shot. So that's why I did that to get nice and low and um, then it's simple just to hit the flip. So anyways, then the next step was we wanted to do like a throwback to like kind of 90s skate videos where there was a lot of like um, kind of cheesy effects, I would say. There there was some like kind of cheesy effects with the reverse and freeze frames and stuff like that, that that at the time were like pretty cool and kind of, I wouldn't say revolutionary, but almost revolutionary, like... Um, as a 90s skate punk kid I, I, I loved it all so we wanted to do like kind of a throwback to that so then you go what we wanted to do was have him do the board slide and just as he's starting to turn there we'll cut it we'll move this footage out of the way and I'll show you why because we're going to be using this space here so what we wanted to do was have him doing the board slide so it'd be in forward and then reverse and then do like a quick little freeze frame. And so it, so to get this footage on there, the reason why I selected that and moved stuff out of the way is because you want to copy and paste this in there. So you go control C and before you paste it in, make sure your playhead is exactly where you want that footage to go because it'll overwrite things. So we want it there. I'll show you what I mean here. So we'll move back to here and let's say I hit control V and it just plops it in there and kind of ruins that. But don't worry, you can hit control Z or control Z if you're in America. And uh, that is it there. So then we'll go to here as well because I want another one of these, but I'll move this out of the way for right meow move those get those out of the way for now so what we wanted was this to be going him to be going along and then boop into reverse here though we wanted this one to be reverse and it's really easy to do this you go up to your speedometer and you go down to reverse and it's it's literally that easy so we did want this to be slow motion reverse um, so you go back to your speedometer you go to slow you go to 0.5 and bam and the reason why I went to 0.5 is just because I shot this in 60 frames a second and it's on a 24 frame per second timeline and a quick and easy way to figure out what you should be um, putting your slow motion at is if you're using a 24 um, frame per second timeline then you just um, divide your footage frame rate by 24 and it'll give you what's the closest if you're doing if let's say this was a 30 frame per second timeline then 0.5 would be absolutely perfect you're going to get a bit of stutter with slow motion at if you're shooting on 24 and you're filming on 60 but you kind of have to deal with that our eyes have gotten used to it but anyway some kind of yammering and probably not making a lot of sense but uh anyways that's that's the slow motion part there and if you're if you don't know what you shot your footage at if you're if you shot this a long time ago and you forgot what you shot it at or you just didn't know that you could choose your frame rates whatever it may be just uh right click on it go down to properties 
And then it says frame rate here, 59.9401. That is technically 60 frames per second. If you shot in 24 frames a second, it'll be like 23.947 or something like that. And uh, that's how you find out what frame rate you have. And then you can do your math mathematics on your frame rate right there so anyways we get to here uh, we've got that we've got it in reverse and slow motion and then what we wanted to do here was have them go back to sliding across again and right about here we wanted to do a freeze frame and it's just you know like freeze frames are good for comedic effect in this instance we could do like a little voiceover or something so we go down to freeze frame and you'll notice that the freeze frame will go up to the next scene that you have. It'll automatically do that. If you don't have one here, it's not going to go like to infinity. It's not going to just keep like running on. It'll it'll stop at a certain amount of frames before um, it does that. So why we did a freeze frame is there was there was like a break in the music or something like that, or we wanted to do a voiceover. So here's your freeze frame. Um, it, it's good. You can use it for like comedic effect and stuff like that too. Like this one video I did, it was me at a waterfall. So it, I had like a shot of me walking up to it wearing flip flops. And then I put the camera uh, over the edge. So it looked like I was going over the edge. And then I cut to a, a scene of me jumping off of a different waterfall. And I did a freeze frame and I did a voiceover that said it was at this moment where I realized wearing flip flops wasn't a good idea. And then it goes back into me landing into the water. And it's kind of funny. I don't know. Maybe it's not. And you can kind of do the same thing here, right? It's like you're going along and it was at this moment I realized I don't know how to skateboard. Or, you know, you can do something funny if you want. It doesn't have to be that. So then that's your freeze frame. Um, you can do whatever you want here. There's like effects that you can put over that if you want. If you wanted to turn this into like a black and white scene. Um, so he's going along and boop, freeze frames into black and white. For whatever reason, if that's something that you want to do, um, then you do that. So then uh, that's basically it there for for your slow motion, for your reverse, for your freeze frame. All very, very simple things to do in Wondershare Filmora 10. And that's why I absolutely love this software. Um, anyways, if you like this, click the me likey button if you haven't subscribed. And if you haven't tried Wondershare Filmora 10, check out my link for a free trial in the description below. Um, I think you might like it. It's a pretty good program. Like it's powerful. It's easy to use. I absolutely love it. So anyways, check it out and uh, well, I'll see you later.